Welcome back, Kermies. I'm Noah. And I'm Cameron. And we're on the prowl. Boys basketball will have open gym starting April 26th, right after school at 2.45. You must be cleared through athletics. If you have any questions, please see Coach Wright in room 1 to 27. 26. Come out to support boys basketball at the Illinium Fundraiser basketball game Friday, May 7th in the Roy A. G Allen Gym. Tickets can be purchased on GoFund.go. Concessions will be available. Come enjoy a fun field event and help support your Croons basketball team. Pride Club members and all others are invited to a Pride Club meeting on April 23rd from 2.30 to 3.30 in room 2111. All are welcome. Hello, anime fans. The next anime club meeting is this Thursday after school at our usual location. See you there. Join Club Swag on Tuesday from 2.30 to 3.30 in room 1 to 21. We will engage in, be engaging in a photo scavenger hunt. Team up with your friends and race around to complete the list first. Only 50 more yearbooks available. Don't be left out. See Miss Bab to reserve yours today. And now for our special report. Hey, Kroomies. I'm Jackson. Today, I'm going to talk to you about CroomsCon and CroomsCon staff. So as you know, CroomsCon is an annual gaming charity event hosted every year at Crooms Academy. Next year, we need more students to join CroomsCon staff. There's a ton of advantages and a ton of benefits that can come from joining CroomsCon staff. But first, there's a few requirements. You must have a C average or higher in your grades. You must be willing to attend a meeting once a month, procure a prize for the prize table, and help with the day before and the day of setup and cleanup of CroomsCon. We need people to run tournaments and host rooms full of games. Some of the benefits of joining CroomsCon staff are it's a great social event. You gain 30 or more hours per year doing community service, and that's just from the event and the meetings alone. Another is that you're helping give back to the community and getting involved with your school. So if you want, to, if you want more information about joining CroomsCon staff, the best person to contact is Mr. Donnan or Mr. Molino. That was good. Hi, my name is uh, Joseph, and uh, today we're going to be interviewing some people about CroomsCon 2021. We're we'll interviewing Ty about uh, CroomsCon 2021. How was your uh, experience at CroomsCon 2021 this year? Uh, it was pretty fun. I enjoyed it quite a bit. We took it seriously. We took it competitively. We had a good time. Did you play in any of the uh, competition? Uh, yeah, my team played in the Rainbow Six tournament. Nice. All right, well, uh, was it fun? Uh, it was pretty fun. We did end up losing, but we were the runner-up, so we got to come to the school, got some free stuff. Nice. Um, well, uh, I think that's all we're going to need from Ty. Thank you. No problem. Hi, my name is uh, Joseph Hunter, and this is... I'm Jackson. And uh, we're, I'm going to interview him about CroomsCon 2020 and 2021. Uh, so, for CroomsCon 2021, what happened? What were the events? How was so, it? we did four tournaments and a handful of other games. We did uh, Smash Brothers right at the end. We did Rainbow Six, Call of Duty, and Rocket League as well. Um, all those tournaments went off great. Um, the Rainbow Six tournament was my personal favorite. Uh, I think that one went really well. Uh, then we had Minecraft Hunger Games and uh, Among Us and a few other games in between for uh, people who donated to the stream they could join. Nice. Uh, and how was this different from 2020 other than not being in person? So there were less tournaments and there were less free play. We had the, this year we've had like the first multiple day CroomsCon where we had preliminaries beforehand um, hosted through WebEx and then we had the Smash one in person. Uh, other CroomsCons, as you know, were all a one day event in person a bunch of gaming. So I feel like this CroomsCon catered less to the casual players, but with plans for next year, going back in person, hopefully, um, things will go back to normal. Yeah, yeah. CroomsCon. Well, I'm, uh, I'm the most upset about losing my, uh, my beloved rock band tournament. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, is that anything else you got to say? Or? Uh, not really, other than next year's tournament, uh, next, next year's CroomsCon is planned to be in person. Uh, Mr. Donnan's social, or the CroomsCon social media and Mr. Donnan's YouTube channel is probably the best place to go for more information about it. Do you have the uh, date by any chance or should we check uh, that on our own? 
I should check on your own. I believe it is March 12th. It is a Saturday again. We're moving away from the Friday, uh, first Friday spring break, and it's now the first Saturday spring break next year. All right. Thank you. That uh, that should be it. So that's uh, Crimscon for next year and the years before. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks guys. guys. Well, that's it for today, Panthers. We'll see you next time on, on the, the Prowl. prowl. Ha, ha, ha.